yo we are back with some more test server action and today we're gonna focus on the avalanche uh the avalanche is a heavy weapon uh basically the big brother of the Tolumbus and the pin and uh it boasts a fair bit of damage but uh, it maintains that same sort of uh firing mechanism um as you can see 12 rockets uh we've got a uh, fair bit of damage 500 meters range and of course splash so uh We've gone ahead and pasted it to a few different setups, and uh, we'll test them out and see how they work. Uh, let's start off here with the bulwark. Uh, the bulwark uh, is something I have in my hangar, in my live account, so I figured I'd better test it out and see if it's worthwhile. Um, now, this uh, avalanche, um, you know, I've got mixed feelings about it. It's... Uh, you know, I like the idea of rounding out that uh, family of rocket pods, but uh, I kind of felt like the Trident did that for us already. Um, <clears throat> and that being said, this does carry a lot more rockets than the Tridents did. So, uh, you know, that's kind of nice to some extent. Um, so the bulwark here, though, you, you, you'll see that, uh, sure, it does a great deal of uh, damage in a burst, but once you hit that single rocket, now, you know, you're not really doing so much. And so, uh, this kind of poses a problem. Now, uh, it's a lot like the uh, Tolumbus, and, uh, you know, I'm used to running Tolumbus, I'm used to running... Uh, tridents and stuff like that and uh really just kind of hanging out and trying to find angles where i can have quick cover uh while popping out and dealing splashes so uh i tried to maintain the same sort of thing with this but uh it just it does it it i don't know I felt like there was a lot more things that I could have been doing with this bulwark, uh, a lot more powerful setups that I could have been using. Um, you know, I don't even think I would put tridents on a bulwark, uh, let alone these. Now, uh, the tridents, I prefer them actually, I think, because that 600 meters range puts you just outside of the range of, uh, you know, energy shotguns, stuff like that. Um, and it just it, it makes it a a little bit easier to operate um with these rockets i mean they're a heavy weapon so you're going to be very limited in the number of uh chassis that you're going to be able to run and also in the speed you're going to be able to move on the board uh with those chassis there there's a few granted that uh move quite quickly um with a heavy slot but it's only one heavy slot and this thing just doesn't cut it alone so uh, this is definitely something you're going to want to have two of them on a unit uh, or more if possible and uh, always remember that you you will have to tuck and find cover you, you're going to you're going to be constantly chasing that cover chasing that reload time uh, approximately one and a half seconds per rocket reload which means that a full pod is going to take you about 18 seconds um, so it's a very long reload time uh, very much like the trident except the trident only holds three rockets so you got a full clip pretty quick um, I do worry about this with uh, certain setups and I'll show you that later um, but, you know, like I said, with the bulwark, uh, it's not really, not really cutting it, not really worthwhile. So let's just go ahead and ditch that. The next setup I tried was a raker. Uh, now a raker is one of those setups that you can use, uh, it's a it's, it carries a heavy weapon, but it's rather quick on the battlefield. Uh, this is something that I'm trying to add to one of my secondary accounts just to test it out, play with some different ideas and setups while I work on things in my main account. Um, I like the uh, damage reduction um, and how it operates with the Raker. Uh, it's definitely a very good um, support unit. Uh, when you're working as a team uh, and I thought you know 500 meters 500 meters let's give it a try now what I found really quickly is that uh, well you know terrain is a huge deal with the raker 
Um, because the chassis is so low to the ground, uh, the slightest dip or roll in the terrain is going to get in the way of, um, of your fire. So basically, I had to get rather close to this in order to actually be able to hit these guys. Uh, I couldn't stretch across the board. I couldn't use that 500 meters range because uh, the chassis itself is so low. So, would I use this uh, in one of my accounts? No, not in the least. Uh, definitely not worth the time and effort to do something like this. Um, I will find something much more better suited to the raker. Uh, this just doesn't cut it. The next thing I tried, of course, was the Carnage. Uh, this is something that I'm uh, having a lot of fun with, with the Tridents. Uh, you, you've probably seen a few of my videos. I've got, um, you know, Trident Carnage, and uh, I don't even having to level up the Carnage. I'm just running like crazy. Uh, not level 9, level 8 uh, Tridents doing a lot of damage, but the mobility. The mobility is what's really you know the the key for the carnage um the ability to speed burst um to sprint to another location uh is definitely great if you're running a support unit so uh with the tridents having that 600 meter range and the ability to sprint back and forth and stuff like that it's a pretty powerful unit um but this is one in particular where i found uh that having that 100 meters less having only 500 meters range kind of put me in a danger zone um especially when it comes to energy weapons um because the carnage is actually quite susceptible to energy weapons uh they've uh it's got less uh hp due to the fact that it's got a built-in ansel shield and so you'll see right there, this is energy shotguns and they are they are taking a toll on me really quickly. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, battle my way out of this uh, because, well, you know, lockdown sucks and that's what happens. But uh, you can see that, you know, uh, once you get into that single rocket fire, you're pretty well done. Now, the next thing I went ahead and tried out was the Falcon. Um, I used them for Fangs Out, and I actually, this is one of the setups where I am grateful for the Avalanche. I have been trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, I've been trying to fit, play with different ideas. Basically, what I'm looking to do with my Falcon is I'd like to go Fangs Out from a distance deal a, a bunch of damage and then jump in onto the already weakened opponent um so um now this would have been a prime uh, a prime chance to do that except that he went around the corner and i knew that i'd hit my head on the ceiling if i jumped so i didn't try and use it there but uh, the idea of uh, dealing a great amount of damage from range and then jumping in to finish off with a close range uh, heavier attack is something that I've been trying to figure out with this Falcon. And I think this would be it. Um, one of very few setups where the Avalanche is actually going to be a scary thing. Um, now that being said i did notice that the reload time on the avalanche was so long that it actually interrupted my use of fangs out on a number of occasions um basically i didn't feel like it was worth going fangs out with only a half a clip of these things um and so i had to not use it i had to wait um for that clip to reload and find a different opportunity um, instead. So here's one example right here. I'd like to go fangs out and uh, do some splash, but I couldn't because I only have a half a clip of avalanche, and that's not really gonna that's not really gonna do enough damage to be worth um, dropping my resistance. And so uh, something that's definitely going to um, it's going to change the way the Falcon is played ever so slightly if you were to do something like this, a setup like this, whether it be the Calamity and Avenger is what I would probably use because I have one. 
Um, but if you're running something like this, then uh, you're definitely going to have to uh, stick around and wait for that uh, full avalanche reload before you go fangs out. Just so you're not wasting your, your ability. So uh, definitely something to consider. But otherwise, this is it. This is where I'm going. And of course, that brings us finally to the Fury. Uh, now, the Fury is actually the one that scares me the most. Uh, this is uh, known to be a camping bot. There are definitely spots in many, many maps where uh, a properly parked Fury is uh, untouchable and a uh, very dangerous thing. Boom! There you go. So, three of these avalanche uh, on a Fury is going to be... Uh, untouchable? Uh, I, uh, untouchable? Because uh, basically what's going to happen is you're going to let this thing reload and anything that comes close is pretty much going to be completely decimated. Um, now... In, uh, under normal circumstances that would be uh, not too bad but because the fury is able to shoot over certain walls and certain maps stuff like that um, basically what this means is that someone's gonna be able to hang out there uh, on the other side of the bridge the castle for example and uh, you know you're not gonna be able to get close because by the time uh, you get close he's already got a full recharge a full reload on these uh, avalanche and he's gonna destroy it so um, this is something that's going to take teamwork to take down um, basically someone's gonna have to drain him of his shots and someone else is gonna have to be right on top of that to take him out while he's uh, on single shot firing mode uh, because if you don't he's just gonna keep taking bots out one after another after another so uh, this is definitely something that scares me. Um, and it's for that reason, really, that I have mixed feelings about the Avalanche. Um, uh, like, on a Falcon, that's one thing, because you're not always using it. It's kind of an ambush thing. It's kind of, it, you know what I mean? But um, with uh, the Fury... Now this, here I'll show you exactly what I mean. Now this isn't my style, but uh, I figure for the sake of showing um, this concept, uh, I'm just going to do it here. So I'm going to camp here and uh, last as long as I can and deal as much damage as I can um, before I get knocked out. And I'm just going to show just uh, what I mean by the... Uh, by my concern see when you when it comes to camping bots um basically what people are looking for is something where they can just sit around and wait and wait and wait and uh ride that reload um and this just you know this plays right into that hand because uh the longer you sit and wait the more damage you're gonna do this isn't a weapon that you're going to go around and move around the board with. This is something you're going to hide and splash. And so here I am, standing behind this building. I think I might have been tapped a couple of times now, but no one can really hit me. And uh, I'm just going to keep unloading. Now, uh, this here is where um, uh, a lone fury would be in trouble because uh, I'm down to single shot and uh, basically I'm not doing much damage at all to this Falcon. Uh, the resi his resistance is up, the entire team is taking him on right now and he's just standing there taking it. So, uh, you know, that's going to be uh, the weak point of this avalanche and uh, this is what I mean, you really got to work that avalanche, but uh, otherwise... I can just stand here and, you know, I'll continue to stand here. My teammates will continue to take on this falcon for me. And there's nothing he can really do. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, I'm just waiting for my thing to reload. Um, <clears throat> so I feel like uh, a setup like this is going to promote camping. 
and that's my real concern is uh, I you know I've got my feelings about campers uh, I see that it has a purpose in some places but uh, I feel like people just stretch it way too long and this is going to be something that's going to allow for that and it's going to make it uh it, appealing you know what I mean and so uh, I, I'm a little concerned as to how it's going to affect gameplay but then again I've been concerned about a few things and I've found ways to deal with them um, you know ways to work around these little problems that I find so you know there's always going to be a workaround but uh, you can see I'm still standing here I'm still barely touched um, only that falcon has really gotten a chance to hit me, and, uh, so, I can just hang out here for as long as I want, especially because it's a death map, so actually I could, but, uh, I'm gonna end up dumping just out of habit, because I, I habitually, uh, dump after, after four, four or five minutes of camping, um, based on how the team is doing, uh, sometimes it's even shorter than that. Um, just because I'm used to playing domination. So, uh, I will end up dumping this at a certain point. But I just wanted to show, like, you know, how this is going to end up being the new Ultimate Camper. So, final thoughts on the Avalanche. Uh, it seems like it's competing uh, for the same role as the Trident. Uh, will it replace the Trident? I don't think so. Uh, personally, I like that extra 100 meters range, even if the clip size is smaller. But uh, in the end, it's uh, nice to have a rounded out uh, rockets segment, and uh, we'll see what happens in the future. But uh, for now, I think we'll leave it at that. Tribal links, and we're signing off.